don't blink, it's blank. Welcome to the real computer edition. And then while on this um, 14th September, I have to show you something. It is, it is straight beautiful. Look at this. One of the nicest, if not the nicest, sunset today. And we had an amazing sunrise this morning. So nature corn wise, this day was full of pleasure. Should I use the word pleasure in that sense? Is it a little bit weird? It's a bit weird. Um, today we're talking about a subject that will raise a lot of uh, discourse, a lot of, uh, I don't know, it's a touchy subject, it's a controversial subject, but I kind of want to do this because, again, I've been talking about, about growth lately, about being more mature. Um, so, yeah, let's do an adult subject. Um, uh, it's crazy. I was, I, was talking, I was talking about making content this morning, and we were talking about how, um, okay, so recap of this morning video in the shortest way possible. Um, if you don't do enough, if you, if you overpopulate your schedule, you overcharge your schedule, that way you don't feel like you're doing nothing, because when you're doing nothing, you feel like you could do something, right? So um, the freedom of creating content is taken aback from the freedom of not being able to do anything. So if I'm not busy and I feel bad, then I don't have the freedom of being relaxing. If I don't have the freedom of making too much content, uh, then I'm like, whatever I can do, I can do. But now I can do a lot of content. I can do 16 hours of content a day. And uh, if I don't do 10 or 11, I'm like, dude, you didn't do enough, right? So this is not really freedom. This is shackle. This is an addiction, right? And that's the subject of the day, addiction. What is an addiction? First of all, what is I think it's important to talk about addiction. You can be addicted to possibly everything. You can be addicted to pills, to drugs. You can be addicted to game, to video games, to gambling. You can be addicted to corn. You can be addicted to food. You can be addicted to a certain show. You can be addicted to a certain game. Anything that is a stimulus, right, will be addictive. When you think about drugs, what are they? What are drugs? A stimulant, of course. Um, and you can get addicted to those. You see, a lot of people are mistaking the fact that an addiction is something you cannot stop having. Uh, but the addiction is also something, if you don't do, you get stress. And the level of stress is this being uncomfortable. So this addiction is very similar to a, uh, a crutch. A crutch in a sense of, if I don't have it, I cannot walk. So for example, I'm playing this game, The Tower, right? And um, I've been playing this game for a uh, like a year, and I really, really enjoy it. And uh, I have a, not a, I do spend on, on it, but I'm gonna try to find an excuse now. Okay, let's find an excuse. I I, I, um, I spend about seventy dollars per two weeks, which is a lot. But um, every two weeks, I get a, a minimum, a minimum of fifty hours of content. So if you do the math, you do seventy divided by seventy divided by fifty, which is one point five. Um, so I do a dollar. Uh, it costs me a dollar five uh, fifty per hours, around around that number. Um, but the addiction happened about two weeks ago. Um, so, my mom, she said, oh, uh, you're spending a lot inky. You're, you're not working. I wanna be part of your, I, I wanna be a manager. And the reality is, um, this is me being lazy. This is again, me being enabled. Um, I was like, okay, mom. Because the, the reality is, I don't pay attention to how much I have. I'll keep on spending, on spending, on spending, and when I don't have, so the second, um, the second I know I have enough money in the bank, I'm gonna wanna spend it, which is not good. I don't, I'm not good at saving. So what I do is, subconsciously what I do is, I don't know how much I have in the bank, right, so I save. Um, so I spend how much I think I have. Does it make sense? Not really. My mom was like, let me, take advan let me take care of understanding how much I have money and let me tell you, okay, you're good or not good. So she'll come in periodically and she'll check, right? And um, so she, what she did, she checked. And uh, I don't know what to, how it happened. I think she, she, uh, she went to another circus store, uh, another store and she didn't have the right the password because I didn't give her my password. I was like, you can check on your, your phone, you can check on your, your phone so you can uh, see the amount of money that I have, but if I give her the password, I know she'll put money in. And then my mom, she's working so hard and she's old, so I want to get advantage of her. So I'm like, okay, well, you're allowed to know how much is my in my account, but you're not allowed to put money to have access to it. Long story short, um, she goes to her circuit, she goes to the store, uh, no, she doesn't go, she goes to the bank, sorry. And she goes to the bank and she check, and because she logged in, 
uh, it was a, a cancel, like, they cancel my card that way because they thought somebody else was using my card, so they canceled it for not fraud, which is I'm grateful for. And uh, I couldn't buy one power pack, which is seven dollars per two weeks that I spent. Um, and I was like, holy shit! And the amount of stress, the amount of of nervousness that came from it, and that was the addiction. The addiction wasn't the game in itself. The addiction was okay. Well, I don't get my hit. I don't get my fix. And that was making me crazy, right? But we're coming into the second part of the subject. This is the addiction. This is the definition of addiction. Now let's go into the subject. If you know um, the addiction is beneficial for you, should you stop it? So we're gonna take a, a very extreme uh, example. Please understand that this is the example. This is a what if situation. This is not in any case me telling you to do so. Um, if you look at people that smoke meth or that are meth addict, right? Uh, to get out of that drug, because that drug is so powerful and gets so addicted. The only way to quit it, because um, one of those drugs that if you stop to cold turkey, you might unalive yourself. Not, and not in the fact that, okay, today is the last day of my life, I'll unalive myself. But because you haven't taken it, you can get a, a, a reaction in your body and you can die. Um, so you go to a pharmacy, you go to a doctor, and they were going to prescribe you with a methadone. So methadone is um, <sighs> methadone is kind of complicated. Methadone is, and how I know this, and it's going to seem like I'm a junkie. I've had a lot of friends. I've had. I'm old. I'm 31 years old. I've seen shit, right? Uh, so methadone is going to be a medication that uh, has a little bit of meth in it, but a lot of um, medication. So you have your daily dose, the, the, the minimum you can require, and uh, you can still get a little high from it, but uh, your body with that medication is gonna be like, okay, well, it's slower and slower, and the methadone in itself is, the, the part is addictive in the drugs, and the rest is, you get the feeling. So you still feel like you did a your dose, or your daily dose, but you didn't, and slowly they you took methadone like for example three times a day at first. Then you're gonna do two, then you do one, and after that you're completely clean. And it's fanta it is fantastic because um, there's a lot of hard, hard, hard drugs that are super hard to quit. So the meth epidemic, um, the fact that they found something that is that is a cure, um, is super interesting. Now, side note, the fact they, the the way they dis they discovered it is awful. So a lot of the um, a lot of the, the drugs are um, drugs available. So if you watch the show Breaking Bad, any any chance that anybody watched the show Breaking Bad? Cool, amazing show. Congratulations, Walter White played by Brian Cranston and uh, Paul Aaron in the role of Jesse Pickman Bitch. And uh, when you know how to make meth, right? You're using sleeping pills. Sleeping pill contain something called methadone. And uh, it helps you sleep, right? Um, it will send your body into a state of sleeping. And a lot of the medication are transformed into oxycotton, which is one of those drugs, is derived from a drug. Ecstasy is derived from another drug. Um, there's a lot of mixing of products that are ex already existing. So the pharmacy, uh, they found methadone because methadone was the, they used methadone to create meth, right? And yeah, so it's like, okay, well, if you take out the drug aspect out of it, um, it can be healing. Enough with the with the drug talk. I'm not a, I'm not a junkie, I'm not a dealer. And sh neither should you, please, focus on your health, focus on your life. You only have one, you have a shit of it, right? So, an addiction. Um, if it's something that is beneficial for you. So, I think a lot of people make the mistake that an addiction is, um, an addiction is something that is, Negative, right? For me, the workaholic, um, and it also comes from a place where I spent the last five months uh, without unemployed. And uh, although I created a lot of content, and although I don't regret anything, and I'm proud of making the content I made, in the amount of work I put in, um, I realized that I should have done, I possibly could have done something else. Enjoy the vacation a little bit because I'm going to be working soon. Because I'm going to be working soon, I would have needed a break, and that break I didn't have it, right? Um, that being said, uh, it, it, it's kind of cool because hmm, it's kind of cool because I can I put this into word? I would call this addiction positive because yes, there is some cons, but there is some pros. 
the pros of long term long term what i'm doing right now is gonna pay off i had a video uh i posted a month ago it just hit 1k and i was like dude this wasn't a video that i didn't think it was gonna be working because when you when you uh when 95 percent of your videos don't work like okay well i don't know what's gonna work right um and it's a video that i made and i was super tired you can tell in the video i'm tired uh possibly one of my 10th 15th 20th video of the day uh, and I was super tired. That addiction led me to make that video. So long term, if that video performed well, I'm gonna be glad I made it. That video was made because I was addicted, right? So it's a positive effect. Um, if you look at athletes, you can be addicted to um, working out. If you look at people that do yoga, they can be addicted to to yoga itself. If you look at even if you look at religion, uh, there's some addiction in religion when you cannot talk about anything else than. Religion, when you can't talk about anything else than a certain book, which is Quran, which is Torah, which is the Bible, which is the, the teaching of the Hinduism. See, when you just can't stop thinking about it, it's an addiction. Addiction isn't necessarily a material thing. It's also a, a feral thing, uh, which is a perception. I am addicted to... Uh, you know what? One of the craziest things. There's a lot of people that do, um, like, a roller coaster. Or they go fast in cars, and that's addiction. The adrenaline becomes an addiction. This adrenaline is a natural reaction of your body. So your body is in a place where it feels danger. Your body is going to push out adrenaline uh, so you can get bigger. The, if you see the effect of the human body on adrenaline, it's amazing. You get a heightened sense of, uh, of vision. You get the five sense or heightened. You get a goosebump. Your, your air makes you... Uh, it's... It goes straight, I guess, and it makes you look, again, I'm thinking in French, um, and it makes you look bigger, right? But when you look at it, adrenaline is a natural drug, something that your body creates. If you're addicted to something that your body creates, how that a bad thing? Your body creates it. Well, the answer lies in the response. It's a response to a tra traumatic event, right? Um, if you had, if you... <laughs> it's in the same way of a, of a psychopath or a sociopath. Not all of them are killers, right? You you suffered so much in your life, and you're like, what if I was a sociopath? What if I could become a sociopath or a psychopath, right? And not feel anything? Would I do it? If it meant not feeling happy emotion. The the addiction. The simple question of this video is: Should if an addiction is um, beneficial, should it be stopped? And the answer is I don't know. I don't know because see, in my life. I got a lot of addiction, right? When I was a kid, it was video game. When I was an adult, young adult, it was manga. When it became, it became games again. It became statue. It became uh, social media, right? Another addiction. Are those addiction? But I know those addiction are a um, stress response to lack of self confidence. They're self uh, a, a response to um, a, a, a boredom, right? So when I do face them, I'm like, okay, well, that's natural. Not natural in the sense of this is supposed to happen, but natural in the sense that, okay, well, you know what? I know what this is going on. I got an addictive personality. Um, it's, even when I fall in love very quickly, I'm like, yeah, I know why I'm doing that. Now, is that an excuse? Knowing why you do something, does it forgive it? If I know, oh, I'm hungry, so I'm going to steal. Is that worth it? Or, uh, you know what? I'm hungry. And uh, I'm hungry and... Uh, I should maybe work, you know? It's tough. It's a tough question. Anywho, enough talking. Love you guys. Take it easy. Peace.